Hello everyone, today we will explain the FC gyroscope. Open the box under the instruction manual is the gyroscope body. There are three connecting wires and a small screwdriver. Let's talk about gyroscopes first. This is an independently designed gyroscope, can be used in conjunction with receivers from other brands. The connection port is JST1.5, the input voltage is 3.5V to 9V, the input signal is PWM. There are two interfaces on the gyroscope. The larger interface is used to connect the receiver. This interface is connected to the servo motor. The gyroscope plays a role in conversion. Then take out three lines. Two of them are receiver connection lines. The other one is the servo conversion line. This wire with three small white plugs is used to pair with a mini receiver. Ordinary receivers do not use this line. Now let's demonstrate how to pair it with a mini receiver. Three wires are used to connect directions. Connect the line in the direction of connection to channel 1 of the receiver. Pay attention to the positive and negative when connecting. Don't insert it wrong. This line is used to control the sensitivity. Sensitivity has no fixed channel range. I won't connect yet. Choose according to your needs. It can also be set on the gyroscope. Then connect the receiver to the gyro. Then connect the servo cable to the lower interface. This is how to connect the mini receiver. Then there is another receiver cable. There are two plugs. The three wires are still the same used to connect the direction. When connecting, make sure the iron piece faces upwards. Single wire for controlling sensitivity. When I explain it later, I will connect this sensitivity line. Then connect the small white plug to the gyroscope. Next, connect the steering gear. There is a simple way to connect the servo. Follow the order of these three lines and straighten them. Reverse the servo and connect it. Connect the power cord. Please note that if you receive a gyroscope for the first time, you need to keep it level and still during the initial connection. After the gyroscope blue and green light flashes, the green light turns solid, indicating that the gyroscope has completed the preliminary calibration settings. We have already done this step in the video, so we won't repeat it. There is a set key next to the interface. This is the forward and reverse direction setting button. Press this to set the gyroscope direction. Now let's test the direction of the servo. The gyro moves left, the servo moves right, and then returns to the center. Let's set it up then. The LED light will flash during the setup process and will light up solid green when completed. Now let's test it again. I move the gyroscope to the left. You can see that the direction of the servo is reversed. The same is true for setting the gyro's travel. Long press the setting button for more than 2 seconds. You can enter the gyroscope travel setting mode. The LED light will also flash. Turn the hand wheel to the left to a suitable position and keep it still. Short press again. Then rotate it to the right and short press the forward and reverse setting button. Finally, let the hand wheel return to the middle position. After completion, the settings will automatically exit. This is the LED indicator of the gyroscope. Looking down, you can see PCA, AGS and gain. PCA is the hand wheel intervention ratio setting used to adjust the mixing ratio of handwheel signal and gyroscope. If you want a larger handwheel ratio, you can take more initiative. You can turn the knob to the right. The LED light will flash during setup. If you want the gyroscope to be larger, turn the knob to the left. Please note that this value is not fixed. 
can be adjusted according to the actual situation of the car. AGS is the anti-shake rudder setting of the servo, used to control the speed of the servo return to center. If you want the servo to return to center faster, adjust to the left. If you want to return to the center more slowly, adjust to the right. As we see now, the speed of the servo returning to center is relatively slow. Now turn the knob to the left. You can see that the servo's return speed is now faster than before. Finally, there is gain gyroscope sensitivity adjustment. This adjustment method is a bit special. If your remote control has a knob, then you can connect the control sensitivity line to the corresponding receiver channel. This way you can control the sensitivity by turning the knob on the remote control. The gain knob of the gyro will not work when the remote control controls the sensitivity. If you do not want to set the sensitivity on the remote control, you do not need to connect. Just turn the knob to control it. Turning left will give the smallest sensitivity. At this time, the sensitivity has been set to the minimum. You can see that the servo has no response. Turn right for maximum sensitivity. OK, let's test it again. You can see that the angle has become larger. Can be adjusted to the appropriate position according to actual conditions. Now let's talk about how to control the sensitivity of the gyroscope using the remote control knob. Note that since the F08, a receiver has only 8 channels. Ura, VRB knobs have no receiver channel control. If you need to use the knob to control the gyro sensitivity, need to map other channels to rural VRB knobs. Here I have mapped the rural knob to channel 3 in advance. At this time, I connected this sensitivity line to the corresponding channel sign of the receiver. It is already connected here, just operate it. You can see that the rural knob is adjusted to the far left. Then let's operate the gyro to see how the servo responds. You can see that the sensitivity is very high now. Then set the knob to near the middle position. There will be a beep during adjustment, which means it is just turned to the neutral position. Then let's test it on the gyroscope. It can be clearly seen that the sensitivity of the servo is very small at this time. Basically no reaction. Turn right to the maximum and the gyroscope's sensitivity is also the maximum. There are some things to note about gyroscopes. For example, the gyroscope must be installed securely to prevent the casing from vibrating. The installation arrow is facing forward and close to the middle of the front of the car. Waterproof, dustproof and strong magnetic interference. The three knobs are precision potentiometers, so pay attention to the strings when adjusting. That's all for the video. Bye.